Hello, this is called Common Sense. Once again, my name is Curtis. I am forced to go into the quagmire of chaos and madness that surrounds our political arena. Uh, now, North Carolina has passed, or is trying to pass, an amendment uh, for uh, uh, that bans same-sex marriage. Now, look. First of all, I don't know what the fuss is. You know, if someone lives with another person, have sex with another person, I'm not really too concerned because it has nothing to do with my life and lifestyle. You know, and I, I think it's funny sometimes when people talk about, yeah, but... Uh, they give our children the impression that this is normal. No, no. You know what? You are the role models of your household. And basically, the influence that your children should be, um, I guess, concerned with is from you. And not from your neighbors and not from the teachers. You are the parent. You are the one. You are the caretaker. You are the one who loves these individuals. So th those kind of things don't make a lot of sense. Now, this is what really pisses me off. And this is the Bible people, the religious people. These are the people, and I went here before, but I'm going to go there again. These are the people who slaughtered the Native Americans in the name of God. These are the people who put black people in bondage in the name of God. Even even they said it was in the Bible that we should serve over all creeds or I, I don't know some goofy stuff like that you know I, what I think is so what what's so amazing about these people and they said even Billy Graham um, put out now can you imagine this guy puts puts out uh, 14 ads in the papers you know um, promoting um, his his uh, opinion about uh, about marriages and he says that God wrote that it's between a man and a woman. You know, why is this a big issue? Who really cares? You know, and the same thing I hear most of the time when I hear people who are gay and they want to be married. They are they want to be married because legally it allows them the same rights if you live with somebody, the same rights as 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 a spouse get, the same rights that a spouse has when the individual dies or when there's an accident or when they're sick or injured. You know, you have the right to say, I am connected with this person, so I am the caretaker. I am the person responsible. The next, everything falls on me. And I think this is crazy. You know, I, when I look at the, uh, the thing about the Bible, and this is what I really don't like about it, because people are always talking about what God said. I'm sure God will not use any of those knuckleheads as vessels. So I, I am I am amazed with always saying what God said. And God, I mean, if you if you religious people who are worried about what what first of all, if God was really upset with it, he would put an end to it. All right, so you don't have to do his work. And you don't have to so you know, you don't have to run around and, and promote God. God if you if if he exists, he exists. And he and he for me he does, but I'm saying, but he don't need you to promote him, you know. This is the madness. But we're, even with, the, with with all these crazy religions going around trying to beat everybody over the head and make them say like, we only there's only one God. I mean, there's our religion is the best, and religion messed up the whole thing. So, and but what I would like to say about this, why is it that these people only get one thing out of the Bible? They only, I, you know, I never see them get the kindness. And the love for one another and the respect of your neighbor, I never see them get that out of the Bible. They can't get those parts. They can't get the part. You, you know, I, I like this, the, the phrase when people say, what would Jesus do? But these people never, ever get that part. They only get the, the anger and the, and the smiting and the, and, the, and the Noah and all these Crazy people and Samson slaying the Philistines with the jawbone. And that's the only stuff they get is the violent part. They get the part about killing people and, and, and denying people 
and, and persecuting people, they don't get the part that the Bible is a book of love. Not for you, but for your neighbors. This, this is what you don't get. The kindness and the sharing and the understanding is what Jesus brought. They took him to the cross and he never said a mumbling word. Can you imagine? Even before he died, he said, God forgive them for they, they know not what they do. And you need to take that from the Bible. Again, you take me down to that dark alley. I think that why is this happening in North Carolina? What's wrong with America? What is your problem? The, I, I see, you know, even when you look at marriage in, in a man and wife context, what is it? Most of it ends in divorce. The other ends in children being separated, living in one house. Look at what it is. I mean, and, and even look at our society, how our society, society has, has turned its back on, on, on marriages. You know, when I grew up, my father worked, my mother stayed home, so we had a foundation. And we had a teacher and a lover who was there with us on a regular basis, who gave us a sense of who we are and a sense of security that things were okay. When I came home from school, I would walk in the door looking, see my mom in it, and then I would go out. But and now everybody has to work. Everybody is out of the house. All the, Even the kids have to work. And this is our government, the same crazy people who are talking about marriage. You don't have no respect for marriage. Because all you, especially political people, your only game is to control and to be popular. It, this is kind of like a pop star thing now. It's not even about the job. That's my take on Boy, I tell you, maybe I should become a preacher because you're really getting on my nerve with this. Have a nice day. Racing through my